So the former chair of the RNC, Ronna McDaniel, was hired as a contributor on NBC, and that sparked quite the backlash because Ronna McDaniel lied about the 2020 election results. She tried to pressure uh, Michigan into not certifying the results, and this entire time she has just sang the praises of Donald Trump and anything that he said she parroted. But according to her now, when you're the chairman, when you're in a head position, according to her, you just take one for the team. Take a look at this clip. To the question, though, do you disagree with Trump saying he's going to free those who've been charged? I do not elected? think people who committed violent acts on January 6th should be freed. So you disagree with that. He's been saying that for months. I, Rana, why not speak out earlier? Why just speak out about that now? When you're the RNC chair, you, you kind of take one for the whole team, right? Now I get to be a little bit more myself, right? This is what I believe. Oh, so now we can believe her. Now she can be herself. Now she's not tied to the RNC and she can speak her mind. When you're the chair of the RNC, you just kind of have to take one for the team. Okay, so if she took one for the team and was willing to overthrow democracy, then how are we supposed to believe anything she says on NBC? Why should we trust anything she said? Couldn't we just as easily say, well, she took one for the team there, so I don't really believe her now. I believe she's just taking one for the team with NBC. Chuck Todd made a great point on this. Check out this clip, and then we're going to talk more about it. Let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. So I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. Mm. Um, she wants us to believe that she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was paying for it. So she has, she has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? What, once at the RNC, she did say that, hey, I'm speaking for the party. I get that. That's part of the job. So what about here? I, I will say this. I think your interview uh, did a good job of exposing, I think, many of the contradictions. And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this because many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting. Mm. have been met with character assassination. So it is, it, you know, that's where you begin here. And so um, when NBC made the decision to give her NBC News' credibility, you got to ask yourself, what does she bring NBC News? And when we make deals like this, and I've been at this company a long time, you're doing it for access. Access to audience. Sometimes it's access to an individual. Mm -hmm. um, and we can have a de journalistic ethics debate about that. And I, it, I, 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 I'm willing to have that debate. And if you told me we were hiring her as a technical advisor to the Republican convention, I think that would be certainly um, defensible. If you told me we're, we're talking to her, but let's, let's see how she does in some interviews and maybe vet her with actual journalists inside the network, see, see if it's a two-way, mm. what she can bring the network. So I do think, unfortunately, this interview is always going to be looked through the prism of right. who is she speaking for. Exactly. How are we supposed to ever take anything that Ronna McDaniel says seriously now when she would take one for the team with the RNC? And taking one for the team meant overthrowing democracy, meant overturning an election that they knew they lost. That's her definition of taking one for the team. But it brings me to ask this question. How many MAGA Republicans out there today that are going around still preaching that the 2020 election was stolen, still spreading the conspiracy theories, how many of them truly believe it, or how many of them are just taking one for the team, are just going along with this because they want to win? And if they would be willing to go along with this and take one for the team, then they are not people that we need on any team in America anywhere. If they would sell out American democracy for the team, then we don't need them in any role of leadership whatsoever. This isn't about, okay, we want to win because we've got this new bill about health care, or we want to win because we've got this new bill about climate change, or we want to win because we've got this new bill on education. No, they want to win so they can overthrow democracy and remain in power. And that's their idea of, well, I really didn't believe in any of it, but I was just taking one for the team. That's even worse. That doesn't make Ronna McDaniel any better to say it that way. To sit back and say, oh, I was willing to take one for the team. You know, there are times in all of our lives that we've had to stay quiet about certain things in order to take one for the team. 
There, there's times where that we've known things about family members or friends, and we've just sort of had to sit back and go, yeah, you know, I really can't rock the boat on this one. We've all been in that spot, but now let me ask you a question. If you had a family member who had just murdered several innocent people and was on a rampage doing it more, I mean, would you just sit back and take one for the team, or would you say, you know what, Uncle Randy's kind of lost his shit, and I really believe that we need to just go ahead and turn him in. We're not talking about taking one for the team so they can, you know. It, it, we're talking about democracy, folks. We're talking about, we're talking about America. We're talking about our rights to vote. And every time that I hear a MAGA Republican stand up and talk about how the 2020 election was stolen, and they do nothing, like Chuck Todd said, but gaslight us. They do nothing but tell us that it's us that's against democracy, and it's us, it's us that's trying to steal an election. When they had no evidence at all that the 2020 election was stolen, they had none. The courts, Donald Trump went to court over 60 times. Every court said, no, there's not enough evidence. The judges that he installed said, no, there's not enough evidence. And they've tried to gaslight us every step of the way. And Ronald McDaniel was accusing NBC of hiring propagandists before all this. And now she's working for NBC and telling us she was just taking one for the team that whole time. Well, if you were taking one for the team, you were taking one to destroy American democracy. And to anybody out there on the MAGA side of the fence who's taking one for the team, I don't want to hear them come out years from now. I don't want to hear Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Matt Gates. I don't want to hear any of those people come out and say, well, we were just taking one for the team. Because you don't take one for the team when it comes to destroying American democracy. Ronna McDaniel thought she had a clever move there. She thought that that was a clever answer. It was a way to say, oh, I'm being me now. But when you were taking one for the team, you were trying to destroy everything this country was founded on. So, no, Ronna McDaniel, you don't get any brownie points from Brando.